plaintiff, Michael Franklin, says the defendant was a dear friend. But over the years, they've had a number of falling outs. Michael claims after he and his wife separated, he heard the defendant was trying to get with her. And he's suing his former friend today for an unpaid loan. Defendant Jason Pilkington insists he never tried to get with Michael's estranged wife, but says Michael is a hothead who once took a swing at Jason over a misunderstanding. Jason is countersuing for the cost of an electric shaver. Start with you. I've known Mr. Pilkington for a long time. He was a dear friend of mine. Um, over the course of the years, we've had a number of falling outs. Um, we both have crossed the How line. How often? Uh, maybe half, half a dozen times at one time or another. Over the course of how many years? Uh, about 35 years. Oh, so. okay. Well, yeah. All right, and what would it be about typically? Usually the typical, you know, we're both testosterone heads. We're both, he's a boxer, I'm a boxer and an MMA guy. He's now doing mixed martial arts and he's got a fight coming up. He's a really intelligent, articulate guy. He's college educated, he's a teacher. But he's also had some vices like a lot of us and had some, some things he's been dealing with like a lot of us and it's only by the grace of God. You know, I grew up in the church. I brought him to the current church where he's attending now. Finally, you said something right. A, a, a lot. Hey, can you let me finish? All right. Okay. It's my time to talk. All right. So with that being said, through the years that, and I, his father actually had me swear Right before his father died, who his father was like a father Dude, to Don't me. bring my dad in this. He, okay. he was like a father to you. Yeah. It's well, like my father didn't dad. like you because you, just... you can be a scumbag. Okay. But when it comes right don't down do, to it. Stop. Don't right. do any name calling. Okay. And Go I ahead. apologize for that. Okay. But please don't interrupt me. Show me some professional courtesy. So what would please. you all fall out about? You still... Usually it was only over girlfriends. I've lent him so much you money. You lent him girlfriends and he never gave them back? <laughs> well, yeah. no, 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 no. You said, no. You, you said girlfriends and but you it lent was a him? Girl, it was a girl that, I mean, he's the type of guy, I could be at first base, he comes in on the stands, tries to steal home. And doesn't do any work when I've already put in some time with this relationship. He's the closer. Yeah, he wants to come in, kind of slide in, you know. So, and that, and I can tolerate that for. But when it comes to my wife and my kids, no. there was, there was some talk, and it kind of his mo that when I was out of the picture with my wife and my kids, yeah, I was married. He'd be the man. Dude, no, I'm what I was do you mean, married. be the man? As in what? To kind of come along, and you know how you know that. things can. Be no, like I don't that. know how. No, doesn't happen to me, and he didn't do it. All right, sir, you give me some background. True enough, we've been friends since we were 12. Um, I, Mike is a dear As a matter of fact, I, don't, I know your wife wouldn't do such a thing, and I don't even know her, but I know if she put up with you that she's a virtuous yeah. woman. <laughs> I'll agree to that. I, I, such I a am thing. a high maintenance. Senator. I know, and that's why she's a, <laughs> and she's a saint to, even, to <laughs> deal with you. <laughs> she's not messing with anybody. Go ahead. We son. were, you know, we were good friends. I'm telling you, when we were kids, Mike was the sweetest kid. He was, I mean, we grew up in inner city. So yeah, we were mischievous. What city? Uh, Rochester, New York. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, as as we grew up, you know, childhood, he was he was amazing. Well, we'd stay over each other's house. He was a loyal friend. He was awesome. Sweet little Mikey. Everybody loves Mikey. As we became like single adults, we both married and had children later. Um, we were single adults. Things were different. Like I went away to college, or I was going away from my profession. When I come home, I had a house, and Mike come stay at my house. And true enough, in 99, 1999, he brought me to Victory Church. And I'm still a member there. You know, I'll always love him for our childhood Ooh. and for that moment. When they put him out, you say, you're still a member. What happened to him? That's, he had his they, issues. They put you out? Okay, no, what Maybe it was, what was life. He's, he's my, All right, and can we put a button on his lip for a second? Oh, yeah, I want to hear why right. Victory puts you out. Well, because <laughs> my wife's ex-husband and his girlfriend were attending there. I chose to leave volitionally because I was uncomfortable because he was trying to start a smear campaign, kind of what he's been doing since I've been on the picture with my wife. He does a smear campaign. I can't go back to the church now because he goes around telling people stories, you know. So you can't so, go to church because of me? All right. I don't go to that church because of you, but anyways. What church um, you go to? I go to... Uh, oh, Hope, you don't even know. Hope, go ahead and get back Christian to your Christian Fellowship. Story. Hope Christian Fellowship. And, all right. So he comes all right, out to, we got that point. What have you all fallen out about the most? Girls? That or him taking swings at me. Swing at yeah, you about a girl? Yeah, he took a swing girl? at me in, yeah, about a girl in my own home. 
All right. Now, all right, well, I get an explanation to that because his memory is probably a little unclear. All right, what's your explanation? Time. So, Go again, he, he was trying to get with this girl. I confronted him about it, okay, about the extracurricular activities that were going on in his property and his like, house. Getting high? In your mind. You talking they were about? getting high, yes, sir. And what's the loan for? Why are you suing him for a loan? I have given him so much money over the years, and I usually go into it thinking I'm never going to see it again. But now this is his wake-up call because he doesn't have many people in his life that trust him and will give him anything. And I'm almost, when I mean, he's already 49, I'm almost 49. You sound as if he needs help regularly financially. No, but when it came down, we, him, I was right? in the same boat. I, I, I have a pit bull. I was evicted because of my pit bull. He had said that you... And where'd you go? You paid... Where'd you stay? My house. Who picked okay. you up? My car. All right. Huh? Whose fridge did you get pudgy out of? Mine. Right? Is that yeah. true? Who helped you? Whose house did you always go to? Mine, Michael. Okay. Now to top it off, you want to sue him for two fifty? dollars right. well, Because he gave me right gas money for going to pick him up 45 minutes right. each to way. Bring if, to your if house. someone doesn't my muzzle house. him, does anybody have duct tape? We'll just duct okay, tape Okay, put a muzzle okay. on. So All right, fit. muzzle it. Hold on, but let me ask you. I've helped him so many times. I fixed his car. I fixed his house, I bought parts for the car, and I gave him the money. As soon as I give him the money, what's he do? He starts an argument with me, tries to physically fight me, and then threatens me to where on Easter Sunday, I had to call the police and then go to a hotel. All right, sir. He said because what it is, that's his game. And every time he founds like a family member, I got to know Mikey's address, Mikey's phone number. Suddenly, my car's got holes in the tire, the exhaust is broken, tire, gas is leaking. He hunts me down like a stalker. He says that you required that he pay you gas money back for the gas he used to pick you up and bring you to live in his house. No, the crux of it, sir, it's not about the money. It's about, Why I want here? him to come what right out and say here? that he has <laughs> had no contact with my ex-wife. You want me to answer it? I'll answer it. Yes, at church when I see them, I have talked to her, but not maybe a year or so. Well, there was people, there was people, there was talk that there was a whole lot more never contact came out of, he's Never came out of our church. Came yeah. out of your head, dude. Wow. Ultimately, what it comes down to... You blamed to, me, your brother, and every other human you could about that. And the truth is you never took responsibility for your own actions. I'm going through a divorce right now. I'm fighting for custody. His second divorce. You alleged your brother was uh, fooling around? Yes or, or no? Trying to fool I don't know. Wife? Where did that come from? I never said you that. You never alleged that? Okay. No, but where did that come from? I never so said I'm, that to you. I don't know. I'm, he said it. I and I'm it. asking you yeah. to either well, deny yeah, yeah, or well, agree to it. There, you know how when, when a you. man is... Your counterclaim for an electric Shaver, how does he owe you for that? All right, here's the thing. Uh, when he came to stay at my place this last time, I come home from work, and he's like, well, I used your shaver. I said, okay, cool. There was a bunch of them sitting. Disposed. No, I used your, your electric shaver. Dude, I just bought that electric shaver. Why would you? I mean, that's like, men know that's personal. You don't use my electric shaver. So now I ain't been able to use it since. I'm not going to use that. He's like, well, I have, I've been homeless for three weeks, so I need, right, so now you're going to use my personal electric shaver? No, well, not yours. You owe me 60 bucks. What do you say to the electric shaver? I'd say that ultimately he's an accountant and he knows how to cross the T's and dot the I's and micro on, on the mini. What you say has nothing well, to do sir, with if, the question. What it comes down to is that his rules are unrealistic. He's an angry control freak, and that's why he's on his second that's divorce. What he when did he tell you he'd repay you this 250 you claim he owes you? Well, again, You have to have he, a repayment date. He, yes. He said, next check, I will pay you. But okay. it's always You're all the checks when in the mail. When was the, the loan the made? checks in the mail. When know? was the loan made, sir? It was made, uh, right, well, April 1st. It was made right around March 30th, March 31st. Mm. But the shaver was a brand new shaver. I mean, a little alcohol. This is got to walk what up do you and start say? drinking. Out I of would like you to... borrow two fifty or agree to repay no, him sir. two fifty no. for any expenses he made towards you, uh, towards gas or anything. Else. I did not. The only issue was eighty dollars he gave me. There was 90. never a two fifty. It was. And you a... told him you would repay him. No, I did not. I actually asked him even in the text. Said you can stay at my house whether you got it or not. I said don't give me the money, the eighty bucks, if it's if Let's it's not see. enough for your apartment. You, you know what I mean? Thank you, Dora. Well, the text is self-explanatory. All right, sir. What up? This is plaintiff. Well, I would, yeah. On my way to a date. That's what he's saying. Hey, can you give me $80 and still get your apartment? Plaintiff says, yes. You say, you sure? Plaintiff says, yes. 
when you're coming over, defendant says. So it seems like it was in exchange for the use of his apartment, sir. That's initially what it was going to be. You mad because... about your wife. This man ain't mess with your wife. Get on out of here. Oh, wow. this craziness. Your Again, claim is dismissed. Have... Judgment for the defendant. Counterclaim. $60 for the electric shaver. Have a good day. Thank you, Your Honor. He could talk his way out of hell. <laughs> I forgive him. He's my buddy. But you, I got to keep uh, healthy boundaries with him now. I got, I got a child. So it, that's what's most important. You should be thinking along the he same He could lines. lie through his teeth and got himself would almost believe him.